Hey guys, Wally D here. We're back for more Donkey Kong Country 2, and please stop that, you two. Jeez. Oh, what the hell is this? Hey, this is our new animal buddy, Squitter, and he basically te gets t or he basically you're going to be your expresso of the game. He can't exactly jump on enemies, but he is armed with webs, and those webs can actually kill enemies. And first thing you want to do here is you want to press A and you shoot out little webs, and you want to press A to make them little platforms. So basically, that's going to be the the espresso part about this guy. He can pretty much get anywhere, and that's how you're gonna get that DK coin up there. And now the game tells you, oh, press A, you'll like it. Yeah, fuck yeah. And basically, this guy is gonna be used quite a damn bit as well, because, well, game seems to love him. I'm not sure why, and I just immediately lost his ass. Fuck. Yeah, it's not good to lose him here, because guess what? There is a nice bonus up here. I don't think there's any any other way to get to it. Fucking hell. Oh well. So yeah, I'm going to probably have to make a return visit here. Damn. But luckily there is... Oh, gotta get this thing real quick. Where can I kick your ass? Oh, nice. Double team attack works like a charm. Fuck yeah. You want to jump in these barrels and get shot over here, but... If you decide to, you can always use Squitter to get across the lava pit the hard way. And you want to jump up in here real quick. And I think Squitter actually comes in this level again. Yep, here he is. Awesome. That's the nice thing about the bonuses here. You can always come. You can always a lot. You can always get a chance to get your animal buddy back, and you can always backtrack and get those bonuses. So I'm gonna. Take what good advantage of that. Kill these guys. Get across this lava pit the slow ass way. <laughs> Which should be shouldn't be too hard. So yeah, if you ever need to, you can always backtrack. It's the beauty of this of this game sometimes. And you wanna just use your little Oh wait, this is something new. I guess it's back there. Damn it. So I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of backtracking. Fuck. Well, that's fine. And if you ever need to, you can always guide your webs upward or downward, and that's kind of nice. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it definitely makes things a little bit easier to work with, especially in some later levels. Ones will, that won't be named for the moment. <coughs> it woods. I mean, what? Nevertheless, we gotta find another bonus, and this is how you're gonna have to find said bonus. You're gonna have to use Wooder's nice little web ability, and to get up here and get this nice easy crimp point, and we'll sometimes how go out of the room by over the exit. <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> pretty much that's all there is to that. <laughs> pretty damn awesome, I have to say. <clears throat> and then when we get to the end of the level, we get a nice easy one-up, and holy crap, man, I'm just gonna have tons of one-ups by the end of this game. Alright, awesome job, Dixie. <laughs> and here we finally get to introduce the reason why we're collecting all these crime coins. Clubba's Koosh. Basically, Clubba is going to be the toll bridge. <clears throat> and here's the toll. Grim coins. Now here it is, land lovers. Me name is Clubba, and cross and to cross me bridge is going to cost you a minute gold pieces of eight. And if you don't if you don't pay up you run i run you like the scurvy dogs you are. Ha. It costs fifteen gold crim coins to cross over these. And basically I can pay him, but I don't have him fifteen, so I'm gonna try to kick his ass. Let's go go oh, damn it. What's wrong with you? You've been no this room must be too far it's for you. So basically he'll smack you stupid and make you regret ever choosing that option. Luckily, you don't lose a life or anything. It's just there for lols. And now we got more Swanky's bonus bonanza. You came up pretty quick. What do you do for a living? Video games hero, you say? Well, that's great. Hit the button and let's play. <coughs> well, thank you for being Mr. Fourth Wall Broken. And then we get Cranky's Challenge. Better be pretty hard, then. <coughs> What's the name of the first lava level on the... Of this, on this area of the island. It's not bur Boiler Curfew, even though that is a very good name. Head Hop. Hop er, hot Head Hop. <laughs> good answer. Here we go again. What is the name of the I area of this island? Uh, Crocodile, Crocodile Cauldron, not Crocodile Cove. <coughs> uh, alligator Alley? I don't see any alley here. How many times do you have to hit the end of area of giant bird to kill him? Four. Yeah, fuck.
fuck yeah. <clears throat> and now we get Lucky Lava. What color were the crocodile's head you jumped on the first lava level? They were green and brown, buddy. Okay, try this one. What is, ex what is an extra life bl bloom color red worth? Definitely one. That's correct, here's the next one. Excluding the end of area boss, how many levels were there in the first area the on the first area of the island? Five. Thank you, hell yeah. And we got Gorilla Game. How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? Well, that's B10, my, my bro. That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. Where did the beetle first appear on the f during the first a island of the area? Level 2, actually. <coughs> okay. What is the name of Diddy's Dick's Ponytail Girlfriend? If you do not know this answer, please hurt yourself in many ways possible. Dixie is obviously the answer. <coughs> so I was pretty much asking him, did you read the fucking book? Didn't they do well? Well, of course, I played this game a little too much, buddy. Okay, now we go to Cannon's Claim, and this is where we get introduced to a new enemy. <clears throat> but first, what you want to do right off the bat is to utilize Diddy's awesome power to helicopter across pits of death and into a bonus barrel. And you're going to do the same thing in the bon an actual bonus because, guess what, there's something special over here. And they expect you not to make it with Diddy, but I think Diddy can actually make it. So yeah, keep that in mind if you don't have Diddy, but you're going to have to do it back if you don't happen to have Dixie with you. <laughs> and then we're going to have Diddy, Dick, and... Another thing about these barrels, as you know, is you have to jump in them with the right Kong. If you do not do that, you will go fall right through them, and pretty much that's going to kill you if there's nothing under underneath you to catch you. So keep that in mind for later levels. They won't pop up too much, but when they do, oh boy... Yeah, they get really fucking hard sometimes, because the game's like, oh, we know that you're a pro at this game, but guess what, you're gonna have to pro your way through these damn character barrels now. So keep that shit in mind, we have more Crusha. <laughs> I still need to figure out that guy's name, I know it's not Clawbaw, shit. Somebody got surrounded there. Oh yeah, we also got these nice little barrels with the up arrow. Basically, as you can probably tell, these... Ah, damn it, I should not kill the cannon there. Basically, th these barrels will shoot you out imme almost immediately when you jump into them. And I fucking got pwned by Stinger. Holy shit, Diddy. Fuck. I don't think you should be holding your head. I think you should be holding your stomach, dude. You, like, fell directly on it. So yeah, that's the one thing you have to worry about this, in this level. Level hates you for, or will throw some zingers at you, and it will throw some pretty nasty situations at that. <laughs> Alright, so, as you can see, the up arrow barrels are pretty much ones where you're going to utilize... <laughs> where you're going to utilize, uh, where you're going to be aiming yourself. And you can aim yourself by holding left and right, obviously, but... Yeah, you're, you're definitely going to have to be careful, because the game will start to throw some sticky situations at you. And get that K, damn it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay, whatever. Ah, damn, wow. Yes, I'm crying too, Dixie, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my ass totally kicked there. Don't know what's going on, I guess the sucking skills are coming in. Where I just magically suck in the worst ways imaginable. Alright, no, nevertheless, let's barely get killed by a damn rat there, but... <clears throat> this level is probably where the difficulty, again, starts to go up a little bit. But, but it's definitely not too bad. You definitely won't be dying like you would be in later levels. Those will be kicking your ass. <clears throat> and try to time it where the bees like, Ah, damn, still... Yeah, that one's not exactly easy, but you do get some worthy, uh, booty from it. Alright, hopefully we can... Gosh, shit. Well, I guess I can do something here. If you happen to kill Cannon at all, you can also always do this. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> now I got Dixie back. Hell yeah! You wanna just jump all the way through here, get into these little automatic shooting barrels, and kill this fucker. Ooh, wow, that was close. Okay, I don't want to, and you definitely don't want to try to jump on cannonballs. You will regret it every 
every time. Yeah, those pretty much will kill you in every way, shape, or form. Or at least kill one of your Kongs and make you regret ever doing that. And we have this guy, Mini Necky. He's the only one that's left in it, of his crew, apparently. <laughs> he wanted to use Mini Necky to get across these pit and get into that bonus barrel. Nice. Find the token. I wonder what I have to do with this one. Oh, this one is where you're gonna really get used to the old up shooting barrels. <laughs> Luckily, it's not too hard as long as you just know where they direct yourself once you get shot out of them. And of course, sometimes they'll have barrels that are diagonally to the red, left or right. And I think they're gonna start introducing that a little bit more in the future. But right now, I, that's probably the first you'll see of them for a while. <laughs> Okay, you want to shoot yourself up here, and do watch out for the zingers, because they will be placed in evil positions like that. Kick this guy's ass real quick. <laughs> Damn. And this is where the zingers really get evil, because, hey, what's up, zinger? Are you going to fucking just be right over my barrel when I'm trying to shoot out of it? Yes. He has no... Zingers have no remorse of what you're doing at the time, because they'll just shoot you. You want to wait here, wait for Cannon to shoot out a barrel, and you want to jump on it right at the banana and get the best uh, distance. And then you got a bonus barrel right behind him. Pretty awesome. <coughs> and it's another find a token. Holy crap. Sprite Sprite not me. What the fuck, did he? Ah, damn it. Uh, well, good news about this one. I think you can't always go back down and get hit with a fucking barrel in the face. So yeah, you can't always fall back down and jump right into it. But I would just getting some horizontal distance out of it before you actually do that shit. But yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard. Just bounce on the uh, dragonflies, and there you go. There's your crim coin. <clears throat> that kind of sucked ass though. Fucking got jacked up there. Ah. Drop the damn chest. I think I had G in it. I'm, that matters much. You want to use this? Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sad, Dixie. I mean, I got slapped stupid by a necky. It wasn't not wasn't by some nut either. It was just by dumb jumping. Okay, so jumping kills me. Oh crap! I got my extra life back really quick. Yeah, this game seems to just give you extra lives with no care in the world, to be honest. I mean, that's the nice thing about this game. This game is... I don't know if this game's really harder than the first one, to be honest. After playing through the first one and doing everything, it seems pretty dead even. If not, this game possibly may be easier. It certainly is a lot friendlier in the lives department, because holy crap... If you screw up in Donkey Kong Country too badly, you're pretty doomed in the lives. I mean, you're not gonna get that many in fucking hell. Worst part about this level, falling down, having to redo all this shit again. That's the worst part. Please don't try to do, make too much of a habit out of that, because it is very annoying to deal with. Alright, kick this guy's ass and get my G that I don't really need. I don't even have fucking O or N now. Damn. And then we have this nice little bonus, or the end of level target. You could try to use Dixie to slow yourself down a little bit and land on the target, but... Didn't think of that, damn it. Alright, so we're done with that level, and I think we're gonna... It's gonna be a good place to stop, so next time we're gonna head into Lava Lagoon, and this is... A really awesome level, I will tell you that much, but... I cannot explain the awesomeness, because... Well, it wouldn't be a good demonstration. So, next time, guys, we're going to head into the Lava Lagoon. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and adios.